The first method I thought I'd go for is a classic algebra method. So let's multiply both sides by the denominator and that's x. So times x times x and that will give us root x equals 4x. Now let's get rid of that square root sign. So we square both sides and that leaves us with x equals 4x all squared. And we'll evaluate that 4x all squared, which 4 squared is 16. And then the x squared can stay there. Now let's subtract the x. We'll get it all on one side for myself a nice little quadratic. So we have 16 x squared minus x will equal that to zero. And then we take out the common factor. So the common factor of 16 x squared and a negative x is x. So we bring that outside the bracket. Notice I say bracket. I know in many places you'll say parentheses. You can hear from my accent, I'm from the UK. So we have those little differences, but I will always try and point it out. Inside the bracket, 16 x and a negative one close our bracket, equal to zero. So from there we can see we either have x equals zero. Well, if we go back to our original equation, we have root x over x. Well, x could not be zero because if we were dividing by zero, it would actually be undefined. So x cannot be zero. Therefore, let's look at the 16x minus one being equal to zero. Well, that if we add the one both sides to solve this like a normal linear equation and we have 16x equals 1 and divide by 16 both sides and we end up with x equals 1 over 16. So a 16th, that's our first method. Now let's have a look at our second method. This is probably for a little bit more of those purer mathematicians, perhaps if you're studying higher math or if you've done a degree or anything, this is probably your method. Perhaps method three might be actually. We're going to use laws of indices here, laws of exponents. We say indices in the UK, but we do move on when we go study in higher advanced math, then we tend to say exponents. So the first thing I would do here is look at root x and change root x into x to the power of a half. And then I have x to the power of a half divided by x. And so what I have here is I have x to the power of half divided by x to the power of one. And when we divide, we subtract the indices. So that gives us x to the half minus one. And that will be x to the negative half. So x to the negative one half equals four. And x to the negative half is the same as one over x to the half, which is the same as one over root x. So one over root x equals 4. And now we're going to turn those into their reciprocals by multiplying by root x and dividing by 4 on both sides. So that leaves us with 1 over 4 equals root x. And now if we square both sides, we have 1 over 4 squared. The squaring gets rid of the square root sign. x equals 1 over 16. Same as we had on method one. Now with method three, this is probably, I think, the purer method. So method three is actually going to lead on from here. X to the negative half equal to four. Now I want to get rid of the negative half power. So I'm going to raise both sides to the power of negative two. On this side, x to the minus a half raised to the negative two. And on this side, four to the negative two. So here I would have to multiply the exponents and that would give me x to the power negative half multiplied by a negative two, which will give x to the power of one. Now we have four to the negative two and that would be one over 4 squared, and that gives us x equals 1 over 16. Now let's test our solution. Pretty conclusive, we have x equals 1 over 16. And so our original equation was root x divided by x equals 4. So wherever there's an x here and here, we're replaced by the 16th. So that means root 1 over 16. Well, that is the same as root 1 divided by root 16 which equals one over four. One over four divided by one over 16. So if I wrote that out in the long form, that's actually a quarter divided by a 16th, which is multiplied by 16 over one. 
and that gives us 16 divided by 4, and 16 divided by 4 is indeed 4. And there we are. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, hit the subscribe, give us a thumbs up. That would really help the channel. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.